Hello. Good morning, Exile. How are you doing? I'm doing okay this morning. I'm very, very tired. <laughs> but I have dragged I have dragged my butt out of bed because I want to do some art. So if I sound a bit like blah blah today, 
That is why. <laughs> But I think I will wake up as the stream goes on. I have tea. And I have comics to draw. Chilling notification for the stream pulled you out of the light slumber. My boop. The boop woke you up. That is interesting. Still under your cover. Oh man. I hope it's warm. I hope it's toasty. Just realising my subtitles haven't been working, but they have appeared to come back as soon as I made a point of it, so never mind. <laughs> yes, ah, uh, yeah. Good, good, good. I do that sometimes, though I have to have the streams on mute if I'm playing them when I wake up, because otherwise it's unfair to my partner. I'm more of the early... I'm the early bird between the two of us. He does not, he does not like to be awoken. <laughs> okay, doing another comic today. Um, this one isn't far off from my actual style now, so it's curious how old it is. It's old because we've got daily in the, um, in the watermark, which, and the, and the title sectioned off, you know, but the rest of it, you can kind of see where my art style has, has come from. This is like one of the the missing links in my art style, I think. <laughs> um, it's a bit square, I guess, um, and very out of proportion if you look at the arms and the legs. So that's what I'm going to be looking to fix. I don't mind that he hasn't, he's obviously skipped leg day, but his legs are so short in comparison to the rest of his body <laughs> that I kind of want to fix this up a bit. The face, though, no notes. I have no notes on the face. It's a solid face, so we'll try and we'll try and work on that. And I gave him a little belly, which I want to keep. So I'm gonna come in and try and draw this. I think it's an, a giant or an ogre. <laughs> it kind of just looks like a giant goblin. <laughs> But you know what, let's just, um, let's not dwell on that. I'm sure it's fine. Let's give him thicker forearms. I also feel like the arm, this, this top part of the arm, it just feels very long to me, so I might change the angle. And I might, I might move the uh, elbow slightly down to help that, because I just think it's a bit too long. Oh, uh, okay, I see what was happening. I see what's happening there. Okay. My roommate got self-conscious and we moved their computer into what is the storage room. Then we got a new bed and mattress and their laziness just made them start slowly going from sleeping in bed to sleeping on the floor, mattress in the other room. All that to say, neither of us got to worry about waking anyone up. Gosh, the floor mattress. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could ever pick a floor mattress over a bed. Personally. Even even out of convenience. But I guess if that's where you spend most of your time, I can definitely see like I can definitely see how maybe you would just eventually slowly just become that room. <laughs> I have plans to reassemble the old bed frame for them. Oh, that would be nice. Taking care of your roommate, that's nice. Okay. Just turn in the background off so I can work on this arm without seeing all the other lines intersecting it, because that was it's a bit distracting. I think it's a bit I think it's a better size now.
But we're gonna have to move the head back slightly because we don't want to cover the face. The face is gold. The face is the good part of this. That's where the joke is. And then we just want to hint at some fingers there. So it's not quite as square as it was before. I'm gonna group that in. I do have some experience with the the old floor mattress situation. When I first started dating my partner there was there was no bed. <laughs> It took a while for a bed to materialize. There we go. Let's give you a round face. Everything is usually quite round, so we'll give you a round face. I was very happy when the bed appeared. too that's that's too much probably go to this you know oh okay well let's make sure we might have to scale the eyes down slightly to make them fit i don't want, I don't want them to be too mismatched there we go perfect oh ha hello anya Good morning, how are you doing? Friend! Friend! Uh, and now I've moved my computer into your own- Yes, I remember you moving your computer around. All their clothes and stuff are still in their closet in here though. Now I kind of want to move it into their new room. I see, so it's like a bit of a... You and your roommate are just having a little bit of a swap around at the moment with all of this. Taking the trash bag outside to tie off and the coffee grinds. Oh no. Oh gosh. I'm sorry to hear that. The I, I feel like the irony is you need more coffee grounds <laughs> in order to wake up. I hate when that happens. Spilling, spilling trash is just one of those things that really puts me in a bad mood. <laughs> I get, I get very annoyed with myself when that happens. It doesn't happen often. I make it sound like that's a, a, a frequent occurrence. <laughs> You just I just remember it I'm just like oh man now I've got to deal with this it happens every day <laughs> every single ev every day this trash ruining my day swap around that's been the slow process of over a year ah <laughs> i think as long as you know it's not inconveniencing either either of you you know like you're both you're both chill with it then it doesn't really matter how long it takes does it That needs to be thinner lines, actually. Yeah. So I feel like this one's too long. I'm going to move it around a bit. I was going to start doing stuff with the lines once I'd finished drawing, but I've already started doing it now, so continue as I mean to go on. Actually, this would work a lot better if I just made that one line instead of two. Oh, 
Oh, and you saw Scream 6. It was good. Oh, well, that's good to hear. So I didn't want to say, I didn't want to say yesterday. I heard, I don't know anything about it. So, and I also kind of want to, no spoilies, no spoilies. But I, I heard from a review that it was good. That's the only thing I know. I was like, okay. But then again, I was like, I don't know who this reviewer is. So I don't know if I would share their opinions. <laughs> But it's always it's always nice when you at least hear a, like someone be like it's it's good from a review. You're like, oh okay. Do I want that? This one's a bit too thin. <laughs> no reveals. <laughs> I know that my partner's gonna go see it in a movie soon, and I know what he's hoping for. Um, it was what he was hoping for in the last movie, which is why I think he really doesn't like the last one. The one before six. I, I can't, I don't remember enjoying it a lot, like, I have a very similar opinions to my, my partner when it comes to screen. We do a lot of the time when it comes to horror movies. We, we're usually on the same page, more or less. There's I can't think of a movie that I like that he doesn't, or vice versa, to, like, an extreme. Like, we'll disagree on the order that we'll put some sequels and stuff. But it's not like, um, it's not usually by a lot. Okay. If you, we'll move this. We'll move this up. I'm just realizing though that this is gonna hide the sweat drop over here. So that was pointless. I might put it on this cheek. Have you seen Fear Street on Netflix? I haven't. What is Fear Street? I can make some assumptions, but... I can check. I'm always up for, for new things to check out. Okay, so I've moved this armor out considerably. Let me even see the thumb. I think we will actually. It'll be on this. Oh, wait, no, the thumb will be on this side. Never mind. Horror trilogy in the vein of. Um, a mini series where each movie is a continuation of the last. Oh, okay, that does sound cool. Fear Street. I will have to have a look into it. Thank you. Not exactly the same. Each each movie is great on its own but all three share an overarching plot. That sounds cool. I can work with that. I've watched, I've definitely watched crazier. <laughs> Currently, my partner and I are taking a friend through um, some classic horror series and we're going through the Halloween movies right now. Which I know I talked about fairly recently. We've gotten through eight or nine. I think we've gotten through nine. We're on, we're on the Rob Zombie remake because we're going in a chron chronological order. How confused were they for Season of the Witch? Surprisingly not as confused as I thought they would be. <laughs> they, they just... They didn't seem, they didn't seem too taken aback. 
I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. I do love Season of the Witch, though. It's very silly. But it's it's it it feels a little bit disingenuous to include it in the franchise these days. <laughs> but I, I don't really know what else you would do with it because it, it technically is. And here we have the third Halloween movie, which has absolutely nothing to do with Michael or anyone. If anything, it's not set in the same universe because the first Halloween movie is on TV during Season of the Witch, so it's canonically just not the same universe. <laughs> Although... <laughs> in Halloween Kills, there are some silver shamrock masks. So who knows? <laughs> Unless you say the film on the TV is a documentary about Michael. And not Halloween 1. It's a documentary. It's all reenacted. Okay, I'm going to say that I want to keep this there. So we'll, we'll move that now. Which would be an interesting angle. And I've got to figure out how this other arm is moving because we've adjusted this arm so much. I might, I think I just want to draw it without. Okay, I'm going to just put the structure in as I did. And I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to rework this body. Let's, let's sculpt this body. Try and make it a little bit... A little bit more... Workable, I guess. I still like this little... This little belly. So we're definitely keeping it. Let me do this. Let me do that. I think I got the other arm there, but just in case I don't end up putting that in, let's just make sure that we've got this body connected. That just needs to be redrawn. Flick at the end though. There we go. Feel like that should end a bit more. Let's give it, give him a twist. Give him a bit of a twist. leg suit now instead of just a, a loincloth. We need, we need to change those legs up anyway. Seeing the two slightly 
different images overlaid is giving you some brain discomfort. Uh, apologies. It's gonna be um, it's gonna just be when I'm when I'm tracing my stuff. I don't know if I need to trace the legs because I do want to change them up. Maybe I can freehand it, but we'll see. Uh, I will say the opening section of Scream 6 was one of the best you've seen for a while. Oh! No spoilers. Thank you very much. I appreciate... I appreciate you holding back. <laughs> Mostly in the face, the two heads. Oh, I'm gonna... I need a butt. Oh, you don't actually need a butt. We can keep the legs pretty much the same way I draw dungeons, but they need to be a lot bigger. They're just not... They weren't chunky enough. They just need to be like this size. Yeah, like I had, I had absolutely nothing going on there. might put some toes in. For now, I'm just going to do this. Do I want that one slightly further out? Eh. some armor on here but that's a a better size like the legs look like they fit a bit better now I think even when I posted this I was a bit like those are tiny legs but uh, I guess I'm dealing with it <laughs> I can say that the gore effects are fantastic and this ghost face has some real energy to them. Ah, you're selling it. I already said I wasn't going to go see it in the cinema. <laughs> My partner is though. If it's really good then I will, but it would have to be like... My partner would have to come back and be like, you have to come see this. Thank you. I'm I'm sure I'm sure they will. I have hopes. <laughs> I had a completely different feeling when we went in to see um Halloween ends. Which which did let us down quite a bit. It's one of those with, with Halloween ends, it's one of those things one of those times where you're like you listen to the marketing and the marketing is saying exactly the film that you want to watch but then you get there and it's not that film <laughs> that's how i feel about the way halloween ends when it's just like yeah it's laurie facing off against michael myers in the battle of the century and and it wasn't <laughs> that's categorically not what that film is about <laughs> they lied they lied that was that was the worst part of it that they knew what we wanted but and they tried to trick us into thinking that they gave it to us, but they didn't. <laughs> I 
Is it a horror movie or a WWE? I mean, Halloween, it's both. <laughs> I didn't know that was what I wanted until I watched um, H2O. And then after H2O, I was like, all I want in these movies now is Jamie Lee Curtis and, and Michael Myers fighting. <laughs> Because H2O is one of my favourite ones. I'm gonna give this a different, different look. H2O is in my definitive Halloween trilogy, as I have stated before. I am a fan of 1, 2, H2O. Thinking of Freddy vs. Jason now, I'm laughing at all the re Oh man, Freddy vs. Jason. It's a very enjoyable movie. There are parts that have not aged well. <laughs> but overall, considering it was a movie that was stuck in production hell, you wouldn't it doesn't it doesn't suffer from a lot of the a lot of the things that a lot of movies like that suffer from when they're stuck in production hell. Good morning, Jew for Despire. How are you doing? Although, the only thing that makes me sad is thinking what could have been, because I know that... I know that if they could have gotten the rights, they wanted the ending to have some... have, um... have, have a pinhead from the Hellraiser series in it. <laughs> <laughs> which would have been would have been pretty cool to get Doug Bradley in there as well and Ash because there's a comic series of Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash from The Walking Dead not The Walking Dead, that's the wrong one <laughs> The Evil Dead I'm like, uh I'm actually not a big fan of Hellraiser. Oh, fair enough. I love Hellraiser. I really like it. It's weird to include it with the others, I think, because it's much more psychological. Don't watch horror movies, that's very fair. <laughs> I think I remember you saying that now that now that you'd remind me, Anya. Um, I can honestly see why there's a lot of things it's not like they cover a lot of things well <laughs> some do but yeah I like I find them fascinating because horror movies tend to be the most experimental and you can get some ridiculously cool things come out of them but you can also get some crazy things come out of them as well. <laughs> that creativity is a double-edged sword. The original Evil Dead was filmed in your home state of Michigan when you had a big tax break um, for filming horror movies. It's... Yeah, like... It's one of the films that I think got Sam Raimi the, the Spider-Man trilogy. And you can tell. You can watch Evil Dead and be like, I can see that this is the same director. Like, the style is there. Is this where Jason is confirmed as a Deadite? I think... possibly? I think that's where they, like, mix all of the lore together. Just don't do gore. My brain um, just makes me imagine things happening. Yeah, fair enough. Absolutely no pressure to engage. If that's the case as well, definitely not Hellraiser. <laughs> definitely skip that franchise.
Uh, Michigan has a long and loving relationship with horror movies. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Especially Spider-Man 2. Doc Ock scenes. Ugh. I do... I, I have a special place in my heart for the first Spider-Man movies 1 and 2. <laughs> I can't say trilogy, but I can say 1 and 2. Can do psychological horror. Okay, so... I can do, okay that's good to know if there's ever recommendations so it's it's about keeping the gore minimum it's nice to know that way I can mention things psychological horrors are fun it depends because sometimes I, I I love I love a psychological horror as well sometimes though they like kind of blur the lines when if like especially if someone's like hallucinating so I always try to I always try to remember like these things of like what what's actually in the movie like content wise So I don't I never want to recommend something and it 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 be it be bad for someone But I don't I'm always very careful with my with 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 horror movie recommendations for sure. A lot of it is quite interesting as well, especially since once you get into sequel territory. A lot of the time I'm not recommending a movie because it's good. <laughs> What's your favourite psychological scary movie? Gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I've got to be like really boring and say like Get Out because Get Out is really good. might just have to also why this is not this is not letting me do anything to this line and I don't know why I want to make this line thinner god damn it ah wait I know why it's because it's the wrong type of line okay I really wish illustrator would kind of tell you that but it doesn't there we go liked Jacob's Ladder because it was three different time periods. The main character in wartime, pre-war and post-war. And it's interesting because there's a hint of what the true present day is. All characters but one have biblical names. We watched it in my Gods and Monsters class in university. And I forgot all the reasons behind that. Ah! Do you know what? I haven't seen it. So I should give it a watch. I do tend to seek out more silly. That seems to be what I end up looking at. I don't give it any sweat. I genuinely enjoyed it. Yeah, I could definitely have a look. Well, I'll ask, I'll ask my partner if he's seen it because there's a good chance that he has. It's not very silly. Yeah. No, it didn't sound it. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I do like... I do like more serious toned movies, but I, I just... I, 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 they usually come from recommendations. Because I wouldn't say, like, the first... The first two Hellraisers are silly, or... Um... Even like the first like on Elm Street and stuff like that, it's not it's got it's kind of silly looking back, but it's not it's got more of a creepy tone. It's the sequels. They are responsible for the silliness.
Yeah, I think... I don't know if I would say they're necessarily completely psychological horrors, but some of them, but I really like the movies that Jordan Peele are making right now. I think Get Out is my favourite. If I'm speaking about Get Out, Us, and... Is it Don't Look Up? Is that what it was called? I've forgotten. Get Out is my favourite by far. It's solid. It's 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 ridiculously insanely good movie. Nope. Yes, thank you. Nope. It's called Nope. I think it's hard for me to decide between the other two because I liked all three. And I have a special place in my heart as I'm pretty sure everyone is aware <laughs> for um, you know shapeshifters, body doubles, that sort of thing and that's that's us um, yeah mo I generally get the consensus that I enjoy it a lot more than other people <laughs> but I find I have such a fascination with the, like that sort of concept Um, I don't seek out scary movies. You have to be in a very particular mood. That's fair. I think, yeah, because there is, I mean, there's, I feel like there's some scenes, but it's definitely not, it's definitely not a gore fest. Body doubles don't scare me too. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I was scared. It was just, I just love the idea. I really, I really did. Like, I think the only thing... I think the only thing I felt at the time when I saw it was I felt like it was maybe spelled out a bit too much at the end. But I really enjoyed it. And, but I do think, I think if I'm being very objective, I do think Nope is the better movie of the two. So I think I would go like, Get Out, Nope, and Us in an objective, in an objective sense. Because Nope is also very long. Which isn't isn't a bad thing for me, but I know like it's a it can be an interesting thing. It was it's I find Nope very fascinating because people have had a lot of different interpretations of it and I quite like that for a movie. Like where people get a lot of different things out of it. Like, it means a lot of different things to, to, to people. Yeah, I think it's just because in recent times I've only really watched a lot of horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> or like creepy or psychological. That just seems to be what I watch with my with my partner. I don't otherwise watch a lot of movies. I'm more of a TV series kind of person and even then getting into new things. Getting into new things is a very slow process for me. Okay. I still haven't put the armor on these. I've just been kind of fixing things up. I want to make sure that nothing is thicker than five, so. That's looking okay. How would I go about this? How do I want to do these legs? I think I want like a big, like a big plate here. Maybe not that big. Let's 
something like that. <laughs> we'll change up the subject. We'll change up the subject from spoopy movies so that we don't... It's not like... It's not too... Too much like teasing. Has anyone got anything exciting they're doing on the weekend? I think I'm keeping it pretty chill this weekend. <gasps> Your birthday? Oh my gosh. Happy birthday for the weekend. <laughs> That's exciting. What are you doing for it? Are you, are, are you doing anything special or have you done anything special? Any celebrations? Yeah, this looks better this way around. Doing it this way around. Not the weekend, but my birthday weekend at the end of the month. Oh, another birthday. Um, Gonna go see the D&D movie. Oh, yeah, that's coming out, isn't it? Birthday love, happy birthdays. That's cool. All the birthday love. Birthday love for the March babies. <laughs> also, your crowdfunder ends on one new morning. Oh, yes. Anya's doing a crowdfunder for um, your, uh, your tabletop RPG, right? Toads and Toastals. It looks very cute. Oh, the hedgehog one. Is it Toads and Toastals? Did I get that right? <laughs> Tea and Toastals. There we go. I apologize. Tea and Toastals. It's got very cute artwork. No toads, just hedgehogs. There's hedgehogs and tea. Tell me more. Anya, you can feel free to plug your game in chat if you want. <laughs> I don't know if there's links enabled. I don't think so. There is a... Oh, uh, maybe... Is, if it's on the artwork, maybe that's where I got confused. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say that's the reason. <laughs> There we go. There is the link. Because I have I have the power of links. You are welcome. You play as a hedgehog who just wants to bask in the sun and enjoy a nice cup of tea by your toastal home but all your noisy neighbours keep bothering you. It sounds so sweet. <laughs> very, very sweet. Okay, I'm going to ignore the way that that's cutting off because I think I just want this curve to be more like here. And then I'm going to outline this so that I can push that back where it needs to be. And then we'll 
pop those lines under the leg. There we go. So maybe I'll put boots on as well. If I send this to the back, I can maybe put this on here as well, change up the angle. Where is my layer? There it is. Then I only need a little bit of this. I'm not going to need the whole shape. Let's get rid of this. It uses the Carter system, so you have a four to six grid of cards and gain and lose resources. Like Spoon Theory. Spoon Theory. Um, as you explore the board. If you get to the goal card before losing your resources, then you get to enjoy your tea with Mr. Fox. If you lose them all before you get the goal card, there's always the next day. Actually, Dungeon, I was just thinking uh, that I need to make a simple graphic of how to play in the book. Would you be interested in making that for me as a commission? Just a simple black line graphic. Yeah, we can talk about it off stream. Send me some DMs. I would be intrigued. It'd be fun to work on. I know I don't have any like things written down about putting things in print anywhere but which I should get on but there's like so many things to do <laughs> just know people some people do better with a visual yeah it it can be that it can be that way yeah I'd love to work on it Have, we can have some chats. <laughs> okay. So uh, this, this strap's going over here. And this strap. Do the similar. But it's going to need to be wider, isn't it? Otherwise, it's going to be quite a difference in the two. Yeah, that makes more sense because this one's on the back one, this one's on the second one. That lines up better. And then I'm going to outline both of these. So that I can just take that top corner and flatten it because it shouldn't be there. There we go. Have some armor on the legs. And then maybe some boots. I might give. I, I want to give him like a pauldron or something, but then it will cover his face. <laughs> and I don't want that. Oh, maybe I can do something with this arm that I haven't drawn yet. Maybe I can put like a metal. Like maybe there's just metal on this arm, like a gauntlet. The hunger is starting to hit me. Gotta get out of bed and grab breakfast. Go find food. It's a good time. We'll be doing a break in a little bit. I just want to quickly get these this boot shape on first. Because 
is that would be that would be nice okay so let's just give that a point there and there and then I just need to remove this middle bit let's give that a remove What if it's got like braces? Mmm. Gosh, maybe. That could be a nice. I mean, yeah, that could just be a nice little extra because it's not going to uh, affect the shoulder that way. Consequently, the face. Did I go all the way down here? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Just looked over to the hallway and Rocket is lying down on the carpet staring at you. <laughs> what is what is she planning? I don't know, but I'm sure it's devious. <laughs> a horror movie with a pug. That sounds... It sounds too cute. <laughs> it's too cute. a little bend as well. Oh, Rocket's not a demon pug. Rocket's a cutie. <laughs> well, that's my opinion. <laughs> I haven't met I haven't met Rocket, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> You're having eggs. Delicious. Nom 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 nom. I feel like I need to make that that like slightly thicker. I want to put a point on that line. I want to put a point on this line. There we go. There we go. Jupiter is having porridge for the first time and making a mess of it. Ah. Jupiter is eating porridge. Oh my gosh. They are getting big. Nom, nom, nom. Porridge does sound good, actually. I'm a shop <laughs> I am both face and mind. A free for you to draw. I'm a shop Have no face to show. I hear porridge in my brain. It makes a jump to 
to oatmeal. Now I want oatmeal. It's like, what is the difference? <laughs> like, what's the difference between porridge and oatmeal? Because I've always kind of thought it was the same. Oatmeal isn't as runny. Fair enough. I just, I've never had runny porridge. At least we're not when you make it. I always thought it was like, um, you know, like, like, um, like a British to Americanism thing. Like crisps and chips. But I thought that about jam and jello, and then I was told I was mistaken. <laughs> a fan of stodgy porridge, yeah. Like, I don't ever have a runny porridge. I, I love, I love it. I love the, I always make porridge really, really thick. Nom that way. <laughs> no, the American what stodgy means thick, basically. It's like thick but moist. <laughs> it's not. It's not the most appetizing of words, but yeah, like mud. <laughs> Maybe it was funny because it's rice porridge. Could be. It, I, I don't know. Like it, there's so many things. Like it could be regional differences, or like you know actual names for things that I'm not aware of. <laughs> Almost spat out my coffee. I'm sorry. Thick like mud. <laughs> it's not an appetizing description, but it is a correct description of how I make my porridge. <laughs> I think I think I think our friend here is looking suitably pretty good. Uh, wait a second, let's reflect. It's all wound up there. I think, if anything, because of how he is wound up, maybe the belly button should actually be more over here. I kind of want to make it a rounder shape as well, not the C shape. rounded off a bit. There we go. And then if I'm putting him in around the same place the door is here, he needs to look down a little bit more. And then we'll go on a break. I describe batter for pancakes and muffins as mud like. Oh my gosh, really? I think that's a lot thinner. Interesting. There we go. Those are, those are where they should be now. Um, yeah, I would say that, like concrete. <laughs> because it dries as hard, oh my gosh, 100%. It is like concrete. You can't let, you can't let porridge dry in the bowl. That's just, you've made a, a grievous error. 
if you've let that happen. Is there a different name for things like muffins across the pond? Must just be the difference in mud in Michigan. Uh, and the mud in the UK. Yeah, possibly. Depends if you mean English muffins or those giant cupcake things you call muffins. Cupcakes are softer and have icing on top. So, yeah, when it comes to bacon, I agree. Cupcakes have icing. Muffins do not. Muffins tend to be dense and filled with fruit. Yeah, so we have muffins, but they... I guess they're denser. They don't, they don't tend to be that dense here, but they are filled with fruit. The main difference for me is the icing. Light and fluffy muffins. Blueberry muffins are my favourite. You can get chocolate chip ones. Yeah, I don't think there's a huge difference between the muffins. Because there is English muffins, but I have to say Jupiter Spire, I don't I don't have those either. <laughs> They're not um if I was if, if someone said would you like a muffin and I was given an English muffin, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, an English muffin is flatbread disc, cutting to two and served with butter. Yeah. It it is nice, but I w it needs to be specified. It needs to be specified that it's an English muffin. You can't just say muffin. That's that's just deceiving. Just too deceiving. Okay. I'm really hungry now. <laughs> so I'm going to get a quick top up of tea and I'm going to get a snack for my breakfast. I think I'm going to go grab a piece of fruit gonna be a banana I think or a pear I have a few different pieces of fruit downstairs so we'll see if you need to get a snack or a drink or if you need to do anything else to take care of yourself it is a good time to do that because I'm gonna go on a 10 minute break so I will see everybody back here in 10 minutes Thank you. 
hello, hello, I am back. I hope everybody had a good break. Have a good luck, Anya. A good luck and a good work. I had a banana. A good banana. So I'm no longer as hungry when we talk about food. <laughs> Okay, I want to put this door in now, so... I'm going to need to turn all this back on. I got porridge trebuchet at you. <laughs> oh dear. It's just, a, it's a new experience. This porridge. Pretty good. So is is Nupita Spire wielding the spoon? Is that how it was trebucheted? Gotta say, if that's the case, that's mighty impressive. I didn't think they'd be able to wield a spoon. He likes holding it. Aww. <laughs> That's cool. I do I do find that 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 Bubs like to be independent very quickly. But no, I am the spoon wielder. I can do it, honest. <laughs> is curved because it needs to like build up and I'm gonna actually turn this off because I think it might distract me and make to make things a bit too uneven like I don't mind if the stones aren't the same length I think that will work actually because it will make it look a bit more Made. slightly further away so try and keep that a bit smaller in and fix all of the way that these lines are interacting because it's a bit too messy. Thank you. 
do like redrawing the old comics. It's nice to see them, especially the ones that I think work. It's just nice to see them have a little bit more of a polish. Pet Mimic Bot asked a question. What is your favorite visual novel game and why? I've answered this one before. Please feel free to answer in chat if you have an answer. I'm aware that maybe not all visual novels, people may not play them a lot here. Mine is How to Fall Boyfriend. <laughs> I've said a few times. The infamous pigeon dating game. And in earnest, I say it's very well written. I, I laugh and cry with those pigeons. And I, I enjoy them a lot. <laughs> but um, one that may be a little less strange is Monster Prom. Aha, Exile, you said it as well. Monster Prom is very good. The characters are very fun. And, in, and, and I love them. And yeah, it's very self-aware. My favourite thing about Monster Prom as well is that it's multiplayer. Um, because I play a lot of visual novels with my friends anyway. Um, we read them together. And it's nice to kind of have... Um, it's kind of nice to have be able to play it together simultaneously. <laughs> then the true psychos, Doki Doki. Oh, I love... I do, I do have a special place in my heart for Doki Doki. Doki Doki Liter Liter ah, Literature Club. For some reason, I am struggling with that word today. There's actually um, a very short, very sweet story for me involving Doki Doki. When I first started dating my partner, um, they were like, hmm, Dungeon really likes visual novels. They talk about these things. I should I should check out what they are, you know, and, and see, uh, just get to know their interest a, bit, a little bit better. Uh, what's a free game? that exists out there. <laughs> so my partner's first visual novel experience was Doki Doki. <laughs> Without knowing what Doki Doki is. <laughs> and then when we met up next, they, they said, like, I played Doki Doki Literature Club, but I was like, oh. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> I felt like I had some explaining to do. I was like, they're not all that. They're not all that crazy, I promise. Though I also had to be like, well, they're not all that crazy. But I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy the ones that are this crazy. They are a solid fave. I had to look it up and it gave you a giggle. <laughs> yeah, um, for anyone who doesn't know, Doki Doki Literature Club is has probably got the most content warnings of any visual novel that I know of. <laughs> it's um, it it rocked. It kind of rocked the um the scene when it popped up in a very similar way to how um Madoka what uh, rocked the magical girl genre um but you know it does have it does have the content warnings before you play the game it's very it's very subversive it starts off very innocent and then gets very dark very very dark very quickly um but it's got that kind of metaness that is in games like undertale and that's very appealing to me as well. I'm a sucker for some meta stuff in games. So, but yeah, it shouldn't be anybody's first 
<laughs> it shouldn't be anyone's first visual novel. It's kind of like, you know, like you know, like TV shows that are meta commentaries of genres. It's like watching that before you've actually seen something that it's commenting on. You're, you're kind of doing yourself a little bit of a disservice. Like, I don't really know what it's commenting on. But oh boy. Yeah, it is somewhat, somewhat infamous now. But I found, despite it, it was very sweet. <laughs> it was a very sweet gesture. And I, and I loved it. Since not really shown them any other other games because that's um, not really their thing. I do want to show them Monster Prom at one point because I think that I think that my partner would get a kick out of that if not just for like an afternoon. But I um, I've shown them some um, more like girly anime that I enjoy. I've been like, here's some of the more wholesome stuff that I watch. <laughs> Which was fun. My new obsession, in terms of wholesome anime, my new obsession is Play It Cool Guys. It's a very short show, and the entire premise is that the protagonists are hot boys, but they're clumsy. <laughs> That's it. That's the show. They're like ten minute episodes. And it's it's just it's just like a, a guy minding his own business, but then he's forgot his wallet or his umbrella. <laughs> or he's standing waiting for the cross lights to turn uh to turn green. But he hasn't push pushed the button. <laughs> All of these amazing scenarios and more. It's it's very silly, very slice of life. And I'm I'm very into it right now. I'm very I'm very obsessed. It's just it's just silly. Amazing. It it is, honestly. There's just certain things, like certain shows, you know, like sometimes you hear about a show and you, no, people don't have to say much about the concept of the show. You just hear a tiny bit and you're like, I'm in. <laughs> say no more. You have my attention. That was sort of how I felt about this one. <laughs> exactly. I had a very similar feeling with, with Undertale when I heard about it, though it took me a while to, to play it. It was like, I'll get to it. I already know that I'll like this game. Because I've seen I've seen a little bit of dialogue from it, and it's exactly my type of humour. I'm, but I'm busy. <laughs> that looks very sharp. Why does that look so sharp? No, 
disconnect it so it doesn't look sharp. There we go. Also, I know that this is a mixture of lines, so let's just fix this up. Come in and change the thickness again. There we go. Fixed. Oh, belly button. Belly button was thin as well. Shadow under the feet. I'm going to duplicate the lines so that I can make this a fill object, but I don't want to lose all my tapering. And I just want to pop that in the legs for now. So get rid of the lines there. put my text on. So I'm going to make a text layer. I'm going to get rid of the caps. And I'm going to type. The last minute. this to be center aligned and we need to change the spacing then what's in the speech bubble dangerous on the other side of Okay, and we can shrink that down. Nothing is locked. Good, good, good. Let's just bring that down. So really, that should be down here. I might have to shrink our friend slightly because he did get bigger. I might want to actually I've got the shadow underneath him but it, I think it would be cooler if his shadow lingered and loomed over the door I think that would be really cool
but then more round, more more shaped like he is. I think that would be more interesting. I just need to give it more of a shape. So let's think. Not a square. Let's grab a circle. Now, I don't think it needs to match exactly. just enough. I've got that sort of shape. Got a big muscly shadow. And I'm gonna merge all that together into one shape. I just realized that my sidebar popped out. That was weird. have this on the right angle it should be like roughly this so we're going to need to scale it down take out all these extra points that we don't need because I'm aware there's no bat the bat in afterwards. Now I might go back to a circle. And then have like it connect out. So if I group these together. I'm thinking that it goes like this. group instead <laughs> I 
do quite like it. I think, I think this shape needs some work. I need the bat. I feel like there needs to be a bit more space though. There needs to be a bit more room. I can bring this over. I do want to have the circle because of the way it curves in. You know, maybe it needs to be taller. Just as tall. And I don't know where to fit this. I kind of want this to be the first thing that is red. How do people feel about the shadow? Love the shadow, good. That was well timed. <laughs> I think it's helping, I just need to balance it with the text now. Maybe that I need to give this a bit of a shrink so that I can fit things in. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need to change my preferences so that I can scale the strokes. Or it's going to look a little thick. And then I'm going to give this a bit of space. Give it a bit more space. I've got more room text like that that fits nicer now I want to make it obvious that it's coming from the door and not the shadow. There we go.
change. I think, yeah, I think that looks like it's coming from the door, not the shadow. <laughs> I think it's working well. I like this. Again, a bit more of a redesign than I was anticipating. Which is which is is funny. I've I've been doing a lot more with these than I I thought I would be. So let me Zoom out a bit, I'll shrink this down, I'll pop the original on the side and we'll compare. After I've redrawn it I can see just how different my art style is now. Just so much softer. But, and, and generally it just makes the other one look so out of proportion. <laughs> Like, I think, yeah, I'm so glad that I've made his legs bigger. His legs bigger and his arms smaller. But I, that's because it's something I'm aware of now. I know that if I'm left, if I don't check my anatomy, chances are I'll make a really big head and really long arms and a tiny set of legs. <laughs> and you know what? I think that's just because that's how I am proportioned. <laughs> but it does look a little bit strange. Yeah. So the only thing I would note myself is I want to remove the word guys from there. I think the sentence works without it. What about his... Yeah, he doesn't need those. It's fine. Oh, we didn't give him braces in the end. Maybe I'll go back and add braces. But... I think... I think it's fine without them. I got distracted by the shadow. <laughs> I was like, ooh, a, a looming shadow. That could be fun. But I think that... I think it works. I think it works without. Like it might be that I go and, and I tweak these off stream before it makes it into the book and stuff. Because I need to double check my um, my bleed edges. Uh, I might have to adjust just based off of that. But I like I like this. It's cute and it's clean. All the lines are so clean. Okay. I think that's I think we're good for today. I'll be next streaming on Sunday, I believe. Sunday the 19th GMT time. And who else is streaming right now? Who is online? Galacticat is doing more art. I like to cat is an Australian artist who does a lot of traditional stuff. So let's go say hi to Galacticat again. Because her stuff is really pretty. Gala tick. Uh cat. I think that's how I spelled it wrong last time. Is there's only one C. 93. Galacticat. 93. The raid has been created! Ah, uh, yeah! If you have unlocked the emote or you're a subscriber or anything like that, join me in using the special dungeon raid emote. Otherwise, we have the Love Heart version coming up too. Dungeon raid! 
There it is. Excellent. Okay then. I hope everybody has a good rest of your day or evening, depending on what the time zone it is. And a good rest of your week. So I will see you all soon. Take care. Stick around for the raid. Have a good one, Anya. Bye-bye. <laughs>